O'Neal, strong drive on the left! Jermaine O'Neal! Before you suffered all those injuries, you were a guy whose career was going like this. Yeah. And then, unfortunately, because you got hurt, it plateaued. You didn't get to where I think a lot of people and maybe you hoped you would get to. How close are you to well, being that guy? You know, I, you know, I always tell people, and I, and I never really spoke much about it because I, I felt like it put a lot of pressure on our organization in, in Indiana, but a lot of it was my knee. You know, it got to a point, um, I will say last year after the surgery, uh, where I was taking like 12 Advil a day. You know, couldn't really eat. Stomach was all distorted. You know, from all the pain medication, I was taking shots and stuff to play, and it just got to a point where I started to feel very, very unhealthy. Now our test has jumped over the scorer's table and is trying to get down to the bench. Our test is in the stands. Oh, this is awful. Fans are getting involved. Steven Jackson's in the fans. Jermaine, it's unfortunate, but in Indiana, a lot of guys, our test, uh, and a few other players yourself, got tied up in the brawl that night in Detroit. And yeah. there were a lot of people who said that that whole Indiana team had to be changed after that because they needed a new identity. Did you feel tainted by the brawl? Uh, I think the organization was tainted. You know, I think what a lot of people don't realize, and um, that's what you don't hear. You know, uh, you hear about all the negative stuff, but I won all of my cases. The federal case, uh, you know, I was reinstated because I should have never been suspended. It was, it was, it was called, you know, just calls to do what I did. Now, do I believe that it was right or wrong? I believe it was the best decision at the particular time. You know, I would never recommend doing anything like that at any point in any sports or just any livelihood moment. But sometimes you feel like you have to protect yourself, not only yourself, but your teammates. Did your daughter ever see it? My daughter came in one day and was like, uh, uh, what are you doing? I said, I'm watching tape of the game. And it was actually a live game. And I didn't even tell her until she went to school and somebody said something to her. And I had to explain to her about the whole situation, which is probably the toughest part of my fatherhood you know, so far in my nine years. 